Back at it again with another video. I've been watching these anti-gun protests, the March for Our Lives and whatnot. I'm really, really, really kind of sad that so many people have no idea what the Second Amendment is about. Let's see if I can get the lighting. Alright, yeah, that's it. Alright, alright. So not many people know what the Second Amendment is about, right? The Second Amendment is about self-preservation and defense from tyranny, which is why we've only been invaded once, and that was 40 years less than 40 years, I mean, it might as well have been 35 years, after this country was founded, after the signing of the Declaration of Independence and a few decades after the ratification of the U.S. Constitution. These people have a problem with understanding why the U.S. Constitution was implemented, or at least the Second Amendment. They want government to control their lives, even though they don't trust the current government. So, here's why I'm a gun owner. The reason why I'm a gun owner is because so many people want to take my guns away. Like these. Like these. I have two AR-15s and a bunch of other weapons. It's really sad that no one really knows what the Second Amendment is about, but yet they're marching like they know everything. They're solely based on emotion. To have a sound argument, it needs to be based on three things. One is, of course, emotion, because you need to have a reason why everything is so fucked up. It simply can't be cut. It simply can't just be, you know, kids have died every day because of gun violence. We lose 96 people a day to do firearm violence. Have you ever lost anyone to gun violence? Stupid stuff like that. Okay? It needs to be based on logic, meaning that your argument needs to be logical, like... If one shooting was done with an AR-15, using compliant magazines, by the way, 10-round magazines. Well, that's not really much of an argument to take away my 30-rounders or 20-rounders. That's not at all. And if your argument is based that because I have two AR-15s that was in my locker, but because one AR-15 in the hands of a fucked up individual was such a bad thing, you're going to have to convince me that my two other AR-15s did such a horrible thing when they were in their locker at the time of the shooting and have been since then. <sighs> These anti-gunners, they really have no idea what they're talking about. Anyways, stay safe, stay armed, carry properly, and carry on, patriots.